So thanks for meeting me down here. <laughs> you know, I always get nervous. <laughs> yeah. When you ask me to meet you down here in the collection. Yeah. Because I know something's up. Right. We're talking about the Yanko tribute. The anyway. Nova. Yeah. I have a buyer. Really? Yeah. I knew something was up when Kevin wanted to talk to me in the showroom, man, about my Nova. I just got this car, man. She's only been here for a minute. Now he wants to sell it already? He's got some serious convincing to do. I thought of this vehicle because I was just feeling like maybe you haven't connected yet. You don't have a bond. I had the hardest time keeping my muscle cars. I just got this not too terribly long ago. And it's a really cool car, and I'm really not interested in, in selling it. But, you know, he's got a fantastic budget. He's just a super nice guy. Is this guy just like, he just wants to have an old muscle car and have fun, or? It's a charity. Oh, and so he wants to do an auction, like a charity auction. What's the charity? The charity is Camp Freedom. They support disabled veterans and first responders. And Targeting them heartstrings now. Yeah. You know, I showed him pictures of this car. Yeah. And I told him it's not a real Yanko. And he said, you know, would Danny have a problem changing this car? Since it's a 69 Nova that has just been dressed up in Yanko trim, there's no rules. There's no harm. There's no foul. It's already, you know, a wicked car. So changing it, I got, I got no qualms about it. And I think, you know, really after talking to the gentleman, the only thing he really wants to change are the wheels yeah. and, and drop the front a little bit, and then maybe some graphics. OK, yeah, I mean, you know, we can we can definitely eliminate, you know, the Yanko vibe on it. There's a lot of things I can do with it, but I guess what I need to know from you is mm -hmm. I want you to crunch the numbers. OK. And then how much I've got to play with to make the changes that he's looking for. OK. So if you'll work on that stuff, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it for a spin. OK. A couple of reasons. I, I want to get it out of my system. Yeah. Uh, but I also want to check it all out and make sure that everything mechanically is tight and right before we start getting into cosmetics on it. So yeah. I got to be honest, man. I was ready to put my foot down. I was going to say, no, this Nova is not for sale. But when Kevin explained to me who the client is, and this is for such a great cause, this is helping wounded vets, man, wounded first responders. You know I'm in on that. So. Yeah, I'm going to sell the car because it's for the right cost. But I think I need a little one-on-one -on -one time with the car before she goes. <laughs> ah, man, it is a nice car. No rattles, no squeaks, no nothing. It just lays rubber at will. Oh, boy, this car is too much fun. You know, luckily for us, this baby was perfect mechanically, man. So we just got to get down with the fun on this thing and make it gorgeous. Now, today, the guys from Camp Freedom are here to check this baby out. Come on, come on. Come on, it's a beautiful day. I cannot wait to see the looks on their face and what this car is going to do for our heroes. We've got veterans here. Yeah, thank you. From the bottom of our hearts. May I ask, what branches? Yeah, it was United States Army. Amen. Yep. Navy. Amen. Army. Amen. It's it's nice Love to it. see that you all are getting along. Absolutely. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally. I don't hold it against you. <laughs> I want to know about Camp Freedom, because what's hiding behind that door over there has a purpose more than just building a cool car. So tell me a little bit about Camp Freedom, please. We have 1,800 acres in Northeast Pennsylvania, and we do all outdoor adventures for disabled veterans, disabled first responders, and their family members. If it can be done outdoors, we do it. This is all a charitable organization 100%. that is basically therapy. Yeah. For our vets yep. and first, first responders. responders. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot free of charge, 100%. And that, that's the therapy. That's yeah. what we bring to the table for people who are struggling. Now you can see why I fell in love when I got the call. Absolutely. Again, we're blessed to be able to be a part of this. So, you know, thank you guys for trusting us with it. What is the end game for this ride that we're getting ready to see? We're going to raffle it off. And it's going to raise great funds for us. It's going to enable us to keep our mission going. Believe me, we would, we would love to keep it yeah. and just keep it on the property. Yeah. 
but yeah. you know that's not yeah. that's not the purpose. It, it was built for the purpose of funding what we're doing. You guys ready to see this? We're thing? excited. Bring it Let's, on. Come on up here. We're, we're just we're just gonna hang out right here. You guys see this? It's proper. Ryan, my man, come on, bring out that Nova. Listen. To that. Oh, that's something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Un. You guys, you guys killed it. Take your time. <laughs> Wander around this beautiful oh beast. God. This 1969 Chevy Nova is bare bones, old school muscle. Under the hood, she's got a wicked big block 427 V8 engine backed up with a sweet four-speed transmission and 411 posi rear end. In other words, this thing is a street legal rocket ship. We updated the dash gauges, but still kept it old school with Krager SS wheels and those BF Goodrich radial T8. As for the paint, well, my man Ryan really outdid himself. Laid down some sweet, spectacular 70s style paint job that looks absolutely stunning, especially in the daylight. Ryan kept this 70s vibe going on the hood and deck lid with some tasty pinstriping, which takes this car to a whole nother level. And for that little extra something, we even etched the back window with some line work and added the Camp Freedom logo that'll definitely make any new owner proud to be behind the wheel. Now, if that ain't cool, I don't know what is. Ryan, <laughs> these are the men. Thank Steve. you for your service. For very this nice is meeting. Thank you for your service. All the markings are delicate and fits right in. Great job. Well, this thing is a ball, gentlemen. It's what an old school muscle car is supposed to be. This car is a light to light beast, a quarter mile rocket. It's just all the old cool stuff that the cool guy would have had back in the day. So we got we got we got to peek under the hood because you're gonna love this. It's so proper, so proper. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Just came out gorgeous. Oh, Bam! Oh, oh man. Big block, old school Chevy 427. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that is you know? unbelievable. Backed up with a four speed transmission and that Hurst shifter. We kept with the old school BF Goodrich radial TAs with the raised white legs. You can't go wrong with it. No. Beautiful. And this color, tell us about the color, right? The color that the car came in, it's a beautiful, stunning color, but it's, it's kind of a challenge to figure out what colors aren't going to clash with that. So that's where we kind of came up with the brandy wine on the bottom, a charcoal color in the middle. It splits everything up without them clashing, and then popped the hell out of it with a bunch of pinstriping. And that's what they did back in the 70s. This is a dream car. I mean, this is anybody who is in my era of life and beyond, they know what this is, but this is only a step up from anything we would have seen. Absolutely. Inside this crazy thing, again, we uh, we went old school muscle car. It is as clean as can be. No frills, no nothing. This is the toy that the guy gets in and goes light to light, and the only time he stops is at the gas station every 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back then, the gas was 25 cents a gallon. Right. The dash. The gauges, that's all updated, but they're all uh, analog, full sweep gauges. You got all yeah, that in there. That. That's, what this, that's what this crazy beast is. On the back, some old school 70s touches, which is etching the glass. Put the Camp Freedom logo in it. Graphics and the, and the pinstriping was done with so much good taste. I love the back window. You know, Camp Freedom is <laughs> yeah. so important to my life. That's cool. That, you know, to see that on there forever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's it's something. But man, this right here, helping Americans heroes, that's what the whole thing is for us. You guys have hit this out of the ballpark. I really appreciate I, it. I could not be more pleased. Like, when I thought of what we were going to do, this is so far beyond anything that I ever thought of. This is incredible. Gentlemen, your stamp of approval means the world to us. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you very God much. Thank, Thank you. you. So Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. God bless. Thank you very much. This car is sick, man. It's lean, mean, and wicked machine from the 70s, and I love that. And the fact that this thing is going to Camp Freedom, and it's going to help out our wounded warriors, and it's going to help out first responders, doesn't get any better than that for me, man. I'm stoked.